Hey, what's up, everyone? Just a quick update on this video. Uh, yesterday, I downloaded a firmware update, uh, 3.23 uh, from 3.10. And uh, I guess I was misled by so many on Reddit where they were telling me, or maybe they were misled by others, they were telling me, hey, finally, there's this new update that supports this new firmware update and they didn't tell me the number of the update you know uh, they just said there's this new update go to your uh, support update it let it download install this new firmware update from LG on your uh, C10 and you'll be able to utilize Dolby Vision 120 Hertz you have to remember this was last night before I went to bed and I obviously didn't bother to you know turn on my Xbox to check it to see what's going on but this morning I woke up and I turned on my Xbox and I saw that it doesn't support Dolby Vision 120 Hertz uh, variable refresh rate. So I went to my video and, and I saw everybody was saying the same thing. You know, it doesn't support Dolby Vision 120 Hertz. Uh, well, guys, I didn't know. I mean, I wasn't trying to mislead you. I wasn't trying to uh, clickbait or anything like that. It was just, honestly, I didn't know. Uh, I was, you know, given the wrong information uh, by so many. And so many were given the wrong information by Reddit. That's how it starts. It starts from one person, and then everybody else starts following the one person. And like domino effect on the Reddit, on the forum, starts saying that, hey, you know, this new update will take care of that. And then now there's people saying that there's a beta version 330 that supports 120 hertz Dolby Vision but where do you get that beta should you get that beta do you have to use it through a computer put it through USB stick and then use the USB stick and put it back in uh, and how do you get that beta do you have to sign up for some kind of LG special program uh, so look here's what I think and, and I think I'm 100% sure right now and I'm going to say this publicly, and what I've been saying, I don't think LG cares about 2020 models, 2019 models. They will have some firmware updates to, you know, keep it working, to uh, remove any bugs, right? We'll keep the user interface a little bit better. Uh, they'll do those updates to keep those models running. But their main focus, guys... Their main focus, it's C1 and G1, the 2021 models, okay? They left behind C10. I don't think they really care. Uh, that's not to say that the C10, it's a bad television. Guys, you can still do 120 hertz with HDR. HDR, it's still HDR. Dolby Vision is HDR. It's just a different kind of uh, HDR that can support more data. Uh, more tone mapping on your screen and look it can look brighter and better right because it contains more data on the metadata okay but um unfortunately that's not gonna happen um uh, is this a big deal for me personally no it's not honestly i can still play and enjoy uh dolby vision with uh 60 hertz okay it's not a, a deal breaker C10, it's an excellent TV. Okay, you can't go wrong with it. Uh, but it really sucks that the LG is not going to uh, implement this 120 hertz Dolby Vision because they would have done it by now. I mean, what are they waiting for? All right, here we are in September. It's already September. So, what are you waiting for, Do uh, LG? And I don't know, man. LG hasn't called me. I haven't spoken to LG. Uh, I haven't spoken to them since uh, since April. The last conversation I had with LG was that they would give me C1 to to test C1. Uh, and I said, okay, awesome. I would love to test C1. And then they never spoke to me again. They never approached me again. I don't know why. Is it because of... Uh, the fact that uh, I am who I am, I'm unfiltered, and uh, you know, I will never apologize for my opinions. Never. 
Now, if I make a mistake, I will apologize and say, hey, you know, I made a mistake. So I'm sorry for that video for you guys. Uh, it was not intentional. I simply, honestly didn't know. Otherwise, I wouldn't have update. I wouldn't have uploaded the video. But I didn't know. Uh, you know. Uh, people say, well, why don't you delete the video? I don't delete anything. I don't delete stuff. I keep everything documented, you know, so you can see, you know, uh, what happened, what transpired. I don't cover any tracks, you know. I want people to see everything, right? Uh, who who deletes videos? People who want to cover tracks, you know. I don't cover anything. I want you to see mistakes. I want you to see error. I want you to see everything uh, as it transpires, uh, okay? But don't blame me, guys. Blame the LG, and I've been saying this to everybody. I don't think LG cares about C10. I don't really think they care. I think they, they just forget about it. They will update it to fix some bugs, to make the user interface run a little bit better. They will do that to keep it running. But I don't think they're going to implement 120 hertz uh, Dolby Vision. Because then the current owners who have C10 with 120 hertz Dolby Vision. Why would they want to... No, think about this. Okay. Think about this for a moment. This is a simple business logic. And I want everybody to think about this. So that way you don't have to ask me millions of times. When is Dolby Vision coming out? It's never coming out with 120 hertz on the C10. Mark, your, mark my words. It's never coming out. And here's the reason why it's never coming out. Listen. Why would LG give you the current owners of C10 from last year? Why would they give you this update of 120 hertz variable refresh rate with Dolby Vision? Why would they give you that? They want you to upgrade to C1. That's the whole, that's the whole idea. That's the whole purpose of their business is to make you upgrade, to give you a reason to upgrade. If they give you this update, 120 hertz Dolby Vision uh, variable refresh rate, then you're not going to buy a C1. You're not going to bother. Why would you buy C1? You say, I don't need it. I already got 120 hertz variable refresh rate. So they want you to buy C1 and G1. Okay? They know you have the the Xbox Series X, the next generation, and they want you to purchase C1. They don't care about C10. They 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 left that behind. That was just a a, a test. They were just testing it last year to see what else they can do. And now this year they want to focus on C1. That's it, man. That's all there is to it, guys. So don't expect to see that update. I know people are saying there's a beta, 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 beta. Why in beta? Why put it in beta? And where is this beta? How do you know that it runs 120 hertz? Where are the tests? I know there's one, there's German guy out there. He says that there there is one, but I don't know. I don't believe him. I don't trust the guy. I don't know him that well. I don't know. He might be doing it for, for the clicks, for the views, which a lot of people do on the YouTube. Okay. All right. So all I can tell you is that forget about it. It ain't going to happen, guys. It ain't going to happen. This is a testament. That's why I'm making this video. This is a testament that you're not going to see 120 hertz variable refresh rate Dolby Vision update on C10. Forget it. You have to upgrade to C1. And that's the bottom line. C1 or G1. So that's all I wanted to say. Sorry about the previous video. It was an honest mistake. I didn't know. I was misled by the Reddit and forums. Uh, I shouldn't have trusted uh, the internet. Uh, I was misled. I downloaded it. I made a quick video. I went to bed. I woke up. I turned on my Xbox and I find out it doesn't support it. And then I looked at my video and people saying you got the wrong information. Yeah. And then the people keep saying there's a lot of wrong info here. I get it. I understand. But it was not intentional. Okay? So, that's it. There you have it. And, guys, forget it.
I'm going to end this video by saying this. Forget it. It ain't happening. You're not going to get that update. Dolby Vision 120 hertz. Mark my words. It ain't happening. It would have happened by now. They're not going to do it because they want you to buy C1. They want to make money off of their latest and greatest models. Okay? Now, that's not to say that there's something wrong with C10. It's a fucking great. Sorry for the language. It's a fucking great television. If you can get it for a good price. 120 hertz. Dolby Vision. Is it a deal breaker? No. It's really not a deal breaker, guys. First of all, you can't take the full advantage of Dolby Vision with uh, with uh, with a C10 OLED because it's not the brightest TV. So you're not really taking the full advantage of Dolby Vision, even though there might be a little bit more information. But these video games are not the developers are not utilizing Dolby Vision to take that information to utilize onto the uh, tone mapping of their video games. All right, so guys. You can still have 120 hertz on your HDR variable refresh rate, so you still you still have the advantage. You still have uh, 13 millisecond response time. You still have low latency, lower input lag on top of 120 hertz with HDR. You still have 120 hertz with HDR, and you can go up to 4K 120 hertz with this television. You have HDMI 2.1, four HDMI 2.1 inputs. It's still a great TV. Don't get tangled up by this whole gimmick of 120 hertz Dolby Vision. It's really a selling gimmick at this point. It's what it is. So if you can get the C10 for like 1200 bucks, buy it. Buy it. Especially if it's a 55 inch, buy it. Buy it. So that's all I want to say about that. Like, uh, you know, Forrest Gump. That's all I have to say about that.